Here's to week three and finishing my novel. Cheers. I feel like this should be champagne. Something I could pop, something with a bit of bubbles to really celebrate this monumental moment in my life. Red wine is good. It hangs together a little bit better. You know it's gonna be a fun night, but you know it's not gonna go out of control. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm very happy that I am finally done this novel. It took me 83,000 words to get to the end of the first draft. I'm done now. I could put it aside. I don't know if it's ever gonna see the light of day, but that's okay. That's okay. The key is to get it done. Whatever draft you're working on, whatever first draft you're working on, don't worry about it yet because it's, odds are it's gonna suck. And I know mine, my draft right now really sucks because I attempted to build a whole world. There is gonna be a ton of plot holes that I don't even want to think about anymore. The key is that I used all my wits, wits, wit. I used all my wit to get to the end. There, it's like solving a very difficult puzzle and the puzzles aren't fitting and you just have to pull a pair of scissors and you just gotta force pieces into it and then you're like, I'm done, I'm done. I don't even care what the picture looks like. I don't even care what this is. And that's where I am right now. I just wrote something that's completely messy. This is 83,000 words of just complete mess. And it's gonna take me a lot of time to really organize it. And I get to decide if I, I wanna do that later. Always back up your work, okay? If that is one thing we can learn from this video, just back up your work. Have one version in the cloud you know, a, in a Google Doc, just trust it. You could also email a version to yourself, just email it to yourself so that it's there in a file. And also if you have a USB or a flash drive or something like Jet, just keep it in a flash drive that you don't take around with you in, in your backpack or anything, just in case it gets lost, just keep it at home. And it's a, it's a Word document too, so it doesn't take up that much space, which is great. I'm done and I'm kind of in this weird, state right now where I want to keep working on it. I want to immediately go back and fix like everything that I know is wrong with it. That is so NaNoWriMo that I just had to keep going. I couldn't stop. You can't really stop and edit when you're working on this. So a part of me just wants to like, ah, screw writing more. I want to go back and edit. I want to go back and edit all my stuff. I have to resist. I have to put it aside for a bit. Keep thinking about it now and then, but now I'm on to the next phase of NaNoWriMo. I have a bunch of short stories that I want to finish. These are short stories that I'm gonna attempt to enter into a short story contest. I think short stories are great. I'm trying to write more of them. I feel like they're a good place for me to practice and actually because when you write a novel, it's hard to get someone to read a whole novel, but when you write a short story, you can actually get um, appropriate feedback because it's a completed project. And it's really good for your morale to actually finish something, get feedback on it, and actually see an improvement. When you're working on a novel, it, that, that is just stretched out. Now for the second part of this update is my coffee shop review. If you have been a loyal watcher of my NaNoWriMo vlogs so far, this year, you know that each week I am visiting a coffee shop to do some writing. And while I'm there, I am giving you my experience. So the coffee shop I visited this week is Matchstick, Yale Town, Vancouver. If you don't really know Yale Town, Vancouver, it is kind of known as the poshy area. So I had high expectation for this Matchstick. I mean, they have other locations all around the city, but I haven't been to this one before and it felt like one I needed to go to and talk about. Let's begin. Let's first talk about the Wi-Fi and Matchstick. It's solid. It's solid. It didn't even need a password for me to log on, which is a wonderful experience to not have to go through that awful, awful experience of asking the uh, barista what the password is. So that part is completely avoided. And there were a lot of people at the coffee shop, but the Wi-Fi, it was not dragging at all. It was doing a great job. So with that, 
Wi-Fi, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Very good, very good place to get Wi-Fi. For free Wi-Fi, really. I mean, it's in a nice part of town, so I guess they don't have to really worry about people just like leeching off of it. See, this is, this is why it's so much nicer to just be in a nice neighborhood. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about comfort. As I mentioned, it was a really busy coffee shop when I went. So busy to the point when we arrived, we were pretty overwhelmed. We didn't see any open seats and we had to stand around super awkward for a bit. We even debated leaving and going to a different coffee shop. Luckily for us, another group sort of up and left, so we got their spot. Here's the thing about Matchstick Yale Town. It's kind of broken up into two sections. There is one side, which is a big communal table and everybody sort of sits around at the computer doing their own thing. And on the other side, there are a bunch of two-seaters uh, and there's also a comfy couch area and there's sort of this weird, awkward bench area that people were hanging out at. It is not the most comfortable experience, but once we sat down, we did get it working. The table itself is not that big. It, was barely enough space for two laptops and two cups of coffee. So it wasn't the most comfortable place in the world. I'll have to give it a 3.5 out of five stars. Next, let's talk about noise level. Here is where I think the layout of the coffee shop is very important. At Matchstick Yale Town, the coffee bar is right in the middle of everything. It's the first thing you see when you walk in, which is great, but it's also right in the middle of everything. So you can't really avoid the noise. You do hear a bit of it, especially when they start banging their, you know, their jug of milk or whatever they're doing. They're making latte and they're, they, they have to bang something. Something is being banged. Another thing about this matchstick is that they do serve food. So every now and then there'll be someone around you that's enjoying their meal. It wasn't, really distracting, it wasn't really that noisy, it's just something to be aware of. Like I mentioned, there are different sections in the coffee shop. I feel like the communal table area, that is a more quiet area because everybody is just focused on their work. The side that we were on, we were sitting at one of the two seaters, uh, we were really close to that weird bench area that people were hanging out, people were just chatting, that's normal. They weren't being super loud or distracting, however we were certainly on the noisier side. Overall, in terms of the noise, it wasn't overwhelming or unpleasant at any point. It was just that the way the coffee shop was laid out, it did create this awkward sort of vortex around where we were, that people were just moving around. The, the traffic was a bit strange. It was a very busy day. It is a very popular coffee shop. So with that, I have to give it a four out of five in terms of noise level. Lastly, let's talk about the coffee. One reason why Mashstick is so popular is because they serve really good coffee. I got the mocha and it was it was phenomenal. It was really good. It was the perfect amount of sweetness and the milk was so soft and smooth. It was like drinking a chocolate cloud. Uh, it was very, very fair price compared to all the other coffee shops. It was very much a treat. I really enjoyed it. It was worth going to just for that, I think. Uh, it was super busy, it, but the coffee was really good. I have to give it a 5 out of 5. So overall, Matchstick was a good and a bad experience. It was really busy. I wish we didn't have to wait around for a seat like a bunch of idiots. However, once we sat down, the coffee was really good. I enjoyed it, the Wi-Fi was sound, and it was nice to be there finishing my novel. That was a really good feeling. So overall, I have to give Matchstick a four out of five. There you go. So that's week three. Uh, it has been a busy one, and I have a prediction that next week is gonna be equally as busy. I wish you guys all the luck. I hope you guys are doing well. I look forward to sharing my next week's experience when I start working on some of my short stories. Let's see how many I can get done. Anyways, if you want to follow this journey and you're not already subscribed, please do. Please do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.